Uh, welcome back to Marky Mark's Boat Yard. This is the Boat Yard and I'm Marky Mark. Today we're working on the trail. So I got the springs in and a box of some other parts. So I started working on the trailer. I burned off the old springs and already bolted up the new ones to the axle. And the next step was this cross member. I move forward, you can see the old spot, so it's almost a foot forward. Because the old runners that failed, they're pretty thin metal. I got some much stouter pieces of steel. Let me turn the light on in here so we can see. There we go, it's 3 16 wall, much thicker. And I've got the drill press set up. I've drilled holes in one where it's gonna bolt to the frame and the shackles for the spring. So that's next. I'm gonna continue on drilling holes. Then we can come out here and fit it in the frame. I'll probably have to get some bolts. And obviously I've gotta shorten these stabilizer pieces since uh, we move this cross member forward. And of course I gotta re-bolt the bunks back in, drill some holes and bolt those in. Because uh, obviously, again, moving that frame forward, which is where they bolt to, is gonna be at a different location. So, I'm gonna go back to the drill press. That's kinda like watching paint peel drilling holes. Uh, I've got some cobalt bits in here, which I really like to go through steel. Uh, it makes drilling through steel much easier. And this is just a Harbor Freight set. They're pretty good for the price. Uh, I've broken a couple smaller ones, but the big ones hold an edge and uh, go right through the steel. So, until I'm ready to bolt these up, that's all for now. Alright, both of the new stringers are bolted up. And I've re-drilled and bolted up the bunks so that part's complete. I'm going to need some bolts for the springs themselves. They're pretty stout, 9 16 And I may need some more 4 inch long 3 8 bolts to attach the brackets for the springs. So that's next. And go find some bolts. So, until we get more bolts, I just added a couple more layers of fiberglass to the bow where the eye bolt's going to go through to make sure it's stiff enough and thick enough and meet the contour of the boat, etc. And the product I used was uh, just resin. Two parts resin, one part hardener. I've been saving Amber's big gulp cups to mix them in because whatever you use gets thrown away. Brush, cups, etc. So, until I get more bolts for the trailer, don't forget to leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe because I'm sure you'll want to see how all this boat stuff turns out. Marky Mark, extraordinaire!